Hi, I'm John Jeremy and this is the second in a series of presentations about the use of technology in indexing. In this presentation I'll look at reordering pages, rotating pages and adding page numbers on the pages in a PDF file. In the last tutorial we looked at reducing the size of our 700 page document from 213 megabytes down to about 18. We're going to use that reduced size document now in this second tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is rotate the pages because the printing process you can see has uh, swung the pages around through 90 degrees. We're going to bring them back to the vertical again. And we do that through the tools menu which is over here in the later versions of Acrobat. Some earlier versions, version 7 and version 6, well, you'll find it up here in the, the main menu. So we'll go over here and down to pages, which is an, an option underneath this, and choose rotate and the direction here clockwise 90 degrees, that's what we want. Page range all, um, that's fine too. Just make sure down here that we've got even and odd, odd pages selected and all our pages are landscape pages, so that's going to affect all of them anyway. We click on OK there and within a few seconds the pages are rotated for us. I'll save the file, there we go. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to look at is reordering the pages. Like most documents, this one comes with a good deal of preliminary matter. This one actually has lots of uh, images as well in the, the shape of a, a photo gallery. But we've got a uh, title page, we've got acknowledgements, we've got contents and introduction and so on. So the actual document, the page one of the document, doesn't begin until what's currently page 64 in Acrobat. And that means we have a the number up here is not doesn't match the, uh, the page number. And if we use this box to move around through the document, if I go to say, page 91 for instance, <coughs> we actually end up on page 28. So I'm going to fix that by putting the 64, 63 initial pages at the end of the document. Now the intuitive way to do that would be to select those preliminary pages with shift click I'm in the page thumbnail view here, by the way, and we can make the page thumbnails larger or smaller by adjusting this dial up here at the, the top. A little smaller there. So I could select the first 63 pages and then drag them down to the bottom, but that's quite a long way. It's actually easier to select the bottom pages and drag them up to the top, and then you don't have nearly so far to go. So let me do it that way. I'll select page 64, which is actually the first page of our text and shift click on the last page back up near the top again and I drag any one of those pages up and to the left scrolling upwards there until I end up at the left hand side of what's currently page one and that's it I've now reshuffled the document so that page one in the Adobe file corresponds to page one of the actual text. Let me save the file. Once we've done this we can now go on to add a very nice big page number on each page so we know exactly where we are while we're indexing. Uh, this book is reasonably good. Uh, all of the pages have page numbers on but of course there are some books like cookbooks that often don't have any numbers at all on some of the pages. So we can fix that by in Acrobat by going to uh, header and footer, add header and footer, clicking in the, each of these six boxes here that correspond to different locations on the page and saying insert page number. There's our first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And to really make these page numbers stand out, I'm going to make them nice black, big black font and change the size to something much larger, 24 or even bigger. Um, I click on OK. Before I do that though, I want to save what I've done. So next time I want to put page numbers on a document, these settings are already in place. I don't have to do them all over again. And I do that by saying save settings and supplying a name. I'll say BPN for big page numbers. And that means that if I come back in future to any document and I want to do exactly the same thing, all I have to do is to find that option here in my list of saved settings. Click on OK. Again, it doesn't take very long to do this.
and now I've got each page labelled with the correct page number in a nice, big, highly visible font. I'll save the file. That's it for this particular tutorial. When we come back I'll have a look at cutting a three-sized PDF files into A4 pages and combining multiple files into a single PDF. Thank you.